Hello, I'm going to speak to you today about neutral density filters and I'm going to split it into two sections. One is the uh, variable filter, which is the round circular type, and the other one is the Lee filters, uh, which is uh, the plates that you drop into the front of a hood. So, just to get us started, uh, there's an image behind me which shows a uh, tram travelling through Seville and it's taken it about once time. Uh, broad daylight, sun shining directly down, you can tell by the shadows. And I was able to take a long enough exposure on a Canon 5D Mark II uh, and keep it long enough to get that blur on the tram. And the reason I could do that is because I used a variable ND filter. The big advantage of the variable ND filters is not only can you take shots like this, you can also use it for shooting video uh, on your DSLR, as many of them do nowadays. Um, you've got varying lighting conditions as you travel, and you can just uh, dial it in onto the uh, variable filter uh, and change it as you need as the lighting conditions change. So, what I can do is, is you can dial it right down all the way to about, probably about six or seven stops. That'll be sufficient to give you that very smoky uh, water uh, image, uh, which looks beautiful with, this, with the still stones and, and the green moss on the rocks. And uh, that uh, will give you a long enough exposure. Of course, you've got to put your camera on a tripod to make sure it's completely steady. And if possible, either uh, trail the camera off using a timer or if you've got a cable release, use that. So that's uh, one use for your variable ND filter. As I said, you can also use it uh, for portraiture and you can use it for video. Uh, as you can see, all you need to do is screw onto the top of your lens and when you've got it screwed on, then you can just grab the handle and slide it back and forth and you can just see the reflection on the top of the lens there as the light gets opened up and it's travelling through and it's getting shot off so you're getting more of a reflection. So that gives it that light and dark feeling as you look at it. Well, it's the same at the other side as the light's travelling through the lens. So I'll just have a, a short break and I'll move on to the Lee filters, which is my favourite filter. They are expensive, but I think they're worth the money. Now the Lee filter, if you can see, it's got a solid uh, holder for the filter. And the wonderful thing about this is, is you can use it to protect your lens from getting any light on it. Because when you use the, uh, the genus variable filter with a handle on, you can't get the hood back on. So you've got a danger of light falling into your lens. So therefore, if you're going to use anything you want to cut light out, uh, I would suggest that you use one of these hoods or a black card mounted on a flexible arm. The rings that attach these, uh, is, uh, they come in uh, many sizes. For the Canon lenses, I use the 82mm for my wide angle lens and the 77mm for my standard lenses. They clip on easily. You, you can just uh, put it onto the end of your uh, lens and uh, what I'll do is I'll just demonstrate this uh, using a wide angle lens. This is a 16 to 35 millimeter lens and I've got the 82 millimeter ring which I'm just screwing on at the top and once that's on nice and secure so it's not moving back and forth and you can see I'm just using one hand and you can quite easily just slot it on and it fits like a glove and there's a small brass screw underneath that you just pull out, it drops in and that's uh, absolutely solid. But you can spin it around if you want to shoot portrait or if you want to shoot landscape. So that's one of the great advantages. You can also unevenly uh, extend the, 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 uh, the shade and that way if there's any unusual light you can get rid of that as well. The full ND filter, uh, this particular one that I'm unwrapping now is the uh, 0.9 which is the equivalent of three stops on your f-stops and they are a snug fit 
so it's probably best if you've already got it on your camera and you've got both hands handy and you can just have one just resting underneath. Uh, once it's in there, that's it, it's as snug as a bug, it's not going to move. So that one was three stops, uh, this one is a bit lighter, it's a gradient filter and that would be used for cutting out some of the light from the sky so you'll get a more even exposure between the sky and the land. I like that very soft gradient but if you push it all the way down you get another extra say a stop of, of ND so you can put the 0.9 and that one uh, into the same holder and therefore you can really slow your lens down uh, you can like, slow your exposure down and lo and behold you've got the ability to just take those shots that you, you, you always dreamed of because you can get that smokiness uh, in the water again using these and the shot that you see behind you which is the uh, one that was taken in Venice that was taken with this setup that you can see on the small screen here and I think it does produce some pretty good results the only thing I've done to this image is probably increased a little bit the saturation in the red which was on the skyline uh, it was very early in the morning it was a beautiful morning and the boats uh, or the gondolas were just moving very slightly in the water and the reason that I wanted to slow this shot right down was to get a little bit of a smoothness on the water but also I think there's a bit of a surreal feel about the boats themselves so there's stacks of opportunities for you to experiment with these types of filters normally they would be used by landscape photographers and that's an area we'll maybe go on to in another another talk uh, but for the moment that is my setup for neutral density filters that I personally use it gives me a great deal of flexibility if I'm just heading out and I've got a grab bag I've got my variable if I know that I've got uh, the sun rising or something like that at 6 o'clock in the morning I'm going to get there with stacks of time to get ready I take the lee they're a wee bit more bulky but once they're on they're absolutely fine okay thanks for watching